Dr. Ioannidis, when we spoke to you on March 23rd, you said we needed more data before we could ascertain what was happening. Since then, you've been busily gathering that data and have published three studies. Let's start with the latest one, which you entitle COVID-19 Antibody Suro Prevalence in Santa Clara County, California. What was the purpose of that study and what did you discover? This study aimed to generate uh, an estimate of uh, how many people in Santa Clara County have been infected with the virus. And the way to find out is to try to see whether they have developed antibodies uh, to SARS-CoV-2. So we had a sample of residents in Santa Clara County uh, evaluated for the presence of uh, antibodies. And uh, the sample was uh, 3,300 uh, people uh, who came to be tested. We estimated that based on what we saw, between uh, 2.5 and 4.2% of the population of uh, the county has antibodies, which is uh, an indication that uh, they have been infected uh, with the virus uh, uh, a while ago. What are your conclusions based on your study? Uh, if you compare the numbers that we estimate uh, to have been infected, uh, which uh, vary from 48,000 to 81,000, versus uh, the number of documented cases uh, that would correspond to the same time horizon around April 1st, uh, when we had 956 uh, cases documented uh, in Santa Clara County, we realize that uh, the number of infected people is somewhere between 50 and 85 times more compared to what we thought, compared to what uh, had been documented. Immediately, that means that the infection fatality rate, uh, the chance of uh, dying, the probability of dying if uh, you are infected, diminishes by 50 to 85 fold because the denominator in the calculation becomes 50 to 85 fold bigger. Our data suggests that uh, uh, COVID-19 has an infection fatality rate that is in the same ballpark as seasonal influenza. It suggests that uh, even though this is a very serious problem, we should not fear. It suggests that uh, we have solid ground to have optimism about the possibility of eventually reopening our society and gaining back our lives. Sooner rather than later, I hope. Sooner rather than later with full control and a data-driven approach.